Good aim is essential to being a strong Planetside 2 player. However, most players experience a plateau in their accuracy at some point that limits their capabilities in-game. Breaking through this plateau is assisted through deliberate practice of the fundamental aim mechanics. Planetside 2 and its VR training is very limited in its capability to isolate and work on these aim mechanics. While many competitive groups overcome this by organizing one-on-one -on -one or small group trainings, these events may be difficult to fit into a busy schedule or may drain motivation to play the game for somebody early on their learning path. This is where training in aim lab or other aim training programs can be valuable. These training programs allow for targeted practice with a high frequency, allowing you to focus on the mechanics of aiming in first person shooters. As well, having the ability to quantify and track your aiming progress assists the learning process. AimLab can be found on Steam, is in early access, and is currently free. The setup is fairly quick, but in preparation for that, let's grab your Planetside 2 settings. Inside of Planetside 2 general settings, take note of your mouse sensitivity and aimed mouse sensitivity values. These may be different. Under the graphic settings, record your vertical field of view. Getting into Aim Lab now, I recommend checking your graphic settings to ensure that you are playing in full screen exclusive mode. Depending on your system, you should change other graphic settings to ensure that you are getting a good and consistent FPS. In the control settings, select Planetside 2 as your game profile. Under the hip settings, make sure to set your FOV to be the same as you had in Planetside 2. Set the hip fire sensitivity to be the same as your Planetside 2 mouse sensitivity. For the aim down sight settings, I recommend switching to the 1x ADS profile and set your scoped sensitivity to be the same as your Planetside 2 aimed mouse sensitivity. Make sure to save the changes. With these settings now in place, your mouse movements in Aim Lab should now be the same as in Planetside 2. Tasks are the exercises within Aim Lab that you'll be doing to improve your aim. These tasks cover a wide range of aiming mechanic skills. A couple of the general tasks I recommend checking out are Spider Shot, Line Trace, Reflex Shot, Strafe Shot, and Motion Shot. After completing a task, the results screen provides an informative review of your performance. Self-assessment is important, and you should focus on the trend of your performance over time, rather than focusing on comparing to other users. In using AimLab for improvement, it is good to understand what you are trying to isolate in practice. The first foundation of good aim is having a good and repeatable physical position. This is how you are seated, how your arm and elbow are placed, where your forearm and wrist are, and what your mouse grip and pressure are. In the first tasks you do in aim lab on a day, you should focus on settling into this position. As you perform tasks, you will want to work on the mechanics of aiming. The aim motion types to work on can be simplified into micro, flicking, wiping, smoothing, tracking, and vertical. Planetside 2 has some amount of each of these motions. As Planetside 2 also uses aim down sights, there is a need to be good in aiming both from the hip and in ADS as well as the transition from hip to ADS. When entering a task in aim lab, consider what aim motion type is being used, select if you're going to practice hip, ADS, or hip to ADS control, and I would recommend focusing on accuracy more than focusing on speed when you are starting out. If you want to learn more on aim mechanics, Ron Rambo Kim has some good videos covering ergonomic position for gaming and on aim motion types. You can find links in the description. Regular practice of fundamentals is essential to learning any skill, including accuracy in Planetside 2. Of course, there are many aspects beyond pure aim mechanics in Planetside 2 that are important to being a good player. So I'd say that aim lab for most players is useful in a limited amount, and particularly as a routine warm-up of about 5 to 15 minutes to help get you into the zone. To that end, I have created playlists of 5, 10, and 15 minutes with difficulties covering basic, advanced, and master levels with a focus on overall, hipfire, and ADS tasks. If you search for PS2, 5min, or 10min, or 15min on the playlist directory, you should be able to find one that works for you. Personally, I try to fit in a 5 or 10 minute basic version to make sure that I have settled into my position before I begin a Planetside 2 session. Already using Aim Labs or going to give it a try? Let me know your favorite tasks down in the comments.